in this video, we're going to discuss about division of a line segment. So, in to be specific, ang gagawin natin, magde-derive tayo ng dalawang formulas para sa division of a line segment. Kung paano hinahanap yung coordinates ng point of division. So, let's start with our first formula. So, halimbawa meron tayong line segment P sub 1 tapos P sub 2 yung endpoints. Okay? So, yung coordinates ng P sub 1, that is X sub 1 tapos Y sub 1. Yung coordinates naman ng P sub 2 that is X sub 2 then Y sub 2. Then, let's say meron tayong point, let's say point P, na nagdi-divide sa ating line segment na may coordinates X and Y. Take note, it is not necessary that P is a, mid, is a midpoint. Okay? Yung midpoint formula kasi, or midpoint of a line segment, special case lang siya nito. No? Pero dito, hindi kailangan na palaging yung point P ay midpoint. Okay? Now, mag-derive tayo ng formula kung paano hanapin yung coordinates nito. So, kung i-extend natin to, so, meron tayong mabubuong triangle dyan. Let's say, ito yung P sub 3. Ang X coordinate niya ay X, Y coordinate niya ay Y. Okay? Tapos, let's say, ito ay P sub 4 x coordinate niya x sub 2 y coordinate niya y sub 1 okay then may makikita tayong similar triangles dito yung p sub 1 p sub 2 ah uh, p sub 1 p sub 3 p tapos p sub 1 p sub 4 p sub 2 no so triangle p sub 1 p sub 3 p similar sa triangle p sub 1 p sub 4 tapos p sub Ah, uh, P sub 1, P sub 4, P sub 2. So, kung similar triangle siya, yung property ng similar triangle, yung P1, P over P1, P2 is equal to P1, P3 over P1, P4 which is also equal to P2 3P, ito, P3P over P4, P2. And let's say that is equal to R. Okay? Now, unahin na natin yung para sa X coordinate. So, ito yung gagamitin ko. P1, P over P1, P2 equal sa P1, P3 over P1, P4. Okay? Take note, ah, yung P1, P, ito yun. Over P1, P2. That is equal to P1, P3, P1, P4. This is equal to, ano yung P1, P3? That is, X minus, X sub 1. Over, P1, P4, that is X sub 2, minus, X sub 1. And this is equal to R. Okay? So, using this, mag, ilalagay ko lang to dito or mag-multiply lang ako sa, ng X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Magiging ano yan? Magiging X minus X sub 1 equals R quantity X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So, nag-multiply lang ako both sides ng, sa equation ng X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Then, ililipat ko tong na x sub 1 sa kabila, magiging positive yan. So, x is equal to x plus r x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, ito yung para sa x coordinate. Tapos, para naman sa y coordinate, so, mula pa rin dito, p1, p over p1, p2, this is equal to, yung ito naman, p3, p over p4, p2, and that is 
what is P3P? That is Y minus Y sub 1. Okay? So, Y minus Y sub 1 over P4P2. That is Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. Which is also equal to R. Then, katulad ng ginawa ko dito, magiging ano siya, Y minus Y sub 1 equals R quantity Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. Tapos, lipat ko yung negative Y sub 1 sa kabila, magiging Y is equal to Y sub 1 plus R quantity Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. Okay? So, ito yung X coordinate ng ating point of division. Tapos, ito naman yung Y coordinate. So, ito yung unang formula na gagamitin natin. No? Doon naman tayo sa isa pang formula. Punta naman tayo doon sa derivation ng isa pang formula. So, halimbawa meron tayo ditong line segment P1, P2. Yung end points. So, eto, yung x coordinate neto ay x sub 1. y coordinate neto, y sub 1. So, dito naman, x sub 2, tapos, y sub 2. Then, meron tayo halimbawang point P na nagdi-divide sa ating line segment. Let's say, ang coordinates niya, x tapos y okay kung i-extend natin to so meron tayong point dito let's say ito ay point P sub 3 tapos meron din tayong point dito which is point P sub 4 tapos may mabubuo tayong dalawang triangles dito yung P1, P3, P tapos P uh, P1, P3, P tsaka P, P4, P2 so ito ay similar triangles Okay, so may nabuo tayong similar triangles, triangle P1, P3, P, ito yon. similar sa triangle P, P4, P2. Okay, so let's say yung P1, P natin ay R sub 1, tapos yung uh, P, P2 natin ay R sub 2. So derive na tayo by property ng similar triangles P1 P over P P2 P P2 this is equal to P1 P3 over P P4 this is equal to P3 P over P4 P2 and this is equal to R1 over R sub 2. Okay, kasi yung R sub 1, that is P1, P, R sub 2, that is P, P, P sub 2. Okay? So, i-derive muna natin yung sa part ng X, yung para sa X coordinate. P1, P over P, P2. Bakit ko nire-write to? Para makita nyo, yung itsura, P1, P, tapos P, P2. Nakaraan kasi, diba? Uh, yung sa isang formula, that is P1, P, tapos P1, P2. Yung buong line segment, yung denominator. So, eto iba siya, para hindi tayo malito. So, this is equal to, para sa x-coordinate muna, P sub 1, P sub 3, over P, P4. And this is, what is P1, P3? P1, P3, that is X, X sub 1. X minus X sub 1 over what is pp4 that is x sub 2 minus x ito yun. so x sub 2 minus x and this is equal to r sub 1 over r sub 2 so cross, mul cross multiplication lang i ano ko na rin i distribute ko na rin x times r sub 2 magiging x r 2 Negative x sub 1 times r sub 2 magiging negative x sub 1 r sub 2. Equals, eto distribute ko na rin. So magiging x sub 2 r 1 minus x r 1. Tapos pagsamahin ko lahat ng x 
So yung negative x dito, lipat sa left side, magiging positive yan. Yung negative x sa buwan naman, ilipat naman natin sa right side yan. Magiging positive din. So magiging ano yan? Uh, positive x r1 plus x r2 is equal to uh, x sub 1 r2 plus x sub 2 r1. So ito yung nilipat natin naging positive. Tapos factor out ko tong x. So magiging ano yan? x matitira ay r sub 1 plus r sub 2 equals x sub 1 r sub 2 plus x sub 2 r sub 1. Divide both sides by r sub 1 plus r sub 2. So divide ko yan. r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 para makancel to. Tapos ang matitira na lang that will be x is equal to x sub 1 r sub 2 plus x sub 2 r sub 1 over r sub 1 plus r sub 2. Okay, so ito yung ating x. Yung para naman sa y, katulad lang din siya dito. No? So, p1, p over p, p2 is equal to, inulit ko na naman para hindi nyo makalimutan na yung p1, p ay ito, yung p, p2 ay ito. Okay? Is equal to, ito naman yung gamitin ko, P3, P over P4, P2. And this is equal to, ano yung P sub 3P? P3, uh, P3, P, that is Y minus Y sub 1. Over P4, P2, that is Y sub 2 minus Y. Y sub 2 minus Y. And this is equal to R1 over R2. Kung mapapansin nyo, no? Y minus Y sub 1, parang ginawa ko lang Y to. Tapos y sub 2 minus y, parang ginawa ko lang din y to. Kung gagayain natin yung process na yan, mag a lang din tayo sa ganito. Okay? Cross multiplication lang din, tapos katulad ng mga process na to, so magiging ano yan. Hindi ko na pinakita, no? So magiging ano siya, y is equal to y sub 1 r sub 2 plus y sub 2 r sub 1 over r sub 1 plus r sub 2. Same process dito. Yung derivation niya. Okay? Now, wag natin kakalimutan ha, yung R sub 1 tsaka R sub 2. Okay? Kasi, yan yung, ah, hindi tayo pwedeng malito dyan. Kasi kapag nagkamali tayo dito, o oh, sayang yung formula natin, kakamali lang tayo sa sagot. So, ito lang yung formulas na ginagamit natin for division of a line segment. Thank you.